Hello everyone, my name is Arun. Welcome to my channel. This is a series of plotting tutorials using Matplotlib in Python. Now in this tutorial, we will be looking at a way to actually move the x and y axis positions to our convenience and also setting up the border if at, when we move the x axis and y axis. Okay. Now before we go on with the tutorial, I just want to mention one thing. Some of the YouTuber, you, one YouTuber just actually told me that the, the font is actually small and actually requested me to you know zoom it up. So what I've done over here is that I just went inside this uh, presentation mode that is available in JetBrains. So this is actually the normal view that you'll get over here. I just increased the font a little bit and then there is this uh, presentation mode. So if you go to view and click this enter presentation mode, I'll go into this presentation mode wherein it's all zoomed up and pretty clean. And now if I right click and run, the, run it, I'll just get the same functionality. And if I want to access the files options on the top, files or the menu bar, I can just go and push my, push my cursor up and it'll just point to me all of this. So it's easier. This is actually convenient. So anyway, moving along, that's just a housekeeping step. So let's moving along. So what we're going to do is we're going to move the X and Y axis positions over here. So just to run, run this code a little bit. As of now, we, this code has a legend and it has a plot plot of sine and cosine so the red curve is actually the sine curve and this I mean green curve is actually the cosine curve now sometimes if you look at some mathematics books or a text what will happen is that uh, they would have pushed this x-axis x-axis at the center at y-axis over here over here the center okay or in some other plots they might have pushed this x-axis and y-axis to different locations based on their convenience so what we're going to do this right now so first thing what we're going to do over here is there is to move, we'll move the move of the x-axis. For that, I'm going to use this command called as plt dot axis. As you mentioned earlier uh, in the, one of the previous videos, axis has has uh, the entire uh, almost all the uh, figure properties. Figure, I mean the plot properties. Okay. So first we are going to uh, use this axis or axis command over here to actually set up something. So if I run this code actually first before without any of this, okay. There are actually four borders for this plot. This top border, bottom border, left and right borders. These borders are actually called as spines. Okay, so this one, the x-axis is, ca is called as the bottom spine. The y-axis is called as the left spine. This border on the top is called as the top spine. And this is actually my uh, right spine. Okay, so we need to get the axis option and we're going to move these uh, spines accordingly. So what we're going to do is let's call plt.axis and then if we call spine, if we put a dot and then I, I have to put spines and this spines is actually a dictionary, dictionary so I have to put the, I mean, in brackets I have to put a bottom, I have to put bottom and then I have to put a dot and then I'm going to access the access this set positions value inside it, set positions value inside it and that and, and what I have to do is that I have to put a Within quotes, I have to put data and then I have to put the position. So this zero is actually the position to which I have to move up the x-axis with, with respect reference to the y-axis. So this x-axis will move up along the y-axis to the coordinate zero in y-axis. So if I run this, check this out. Now the x-axis which was at the bottom now moved up and aligned with zero comma zero point zero. Now if I move this to something like point two five, let's say. 0.2 or 0.25 check this out now my y axis actually moved up a bit moved up and it's aligned itself I mean, y x axis has actually moved up and aligned it itself with 0.2 in the y axis okay this way i can actually move my x axis up and down depending upon my convenience so for us right now let's move keep it at zero that's more than enough and let me run this there we go perfect and now what we're going to do is actually we're going to move the y axis, I mean the y axis to the left. So you have to access the spines left option, and then you have to set the position uh, position to zero. Okay. And now if I run this, the y axis has aligned itself with respect to uh, the x axis at zero comma at zero. Perfect. And now if I now if I were to move my x y axis to some other value along y axis, I just have to give it a coordinate position over here. So if I put to, this to be minus two, let's say, check this out. Check it out. Now this y axis is, has aligned itself with minus two. Okay. Now this way actually I can move my y axis anywhere along the x axis. And now what I do is let me put this to zero. 
okay and now if i run this code over here now it's okay now it's there aligned aligned well now the problem over here is that when i when i reach up to these axes this part is empty now this plot looks a little bit shabby so we need to put an horizontal vertical line over here and then horizontal line over here there is actually a command that there's actually commands in python to do that so first let's put, activate the put a horizontal line at the bottom and that is given by this command ax h line okay axis h i mean so axis horizontal line that's the full form of that command so shortly called as ax h line and uh, i have to give the y coordinate to it and let me put this as minus one just to give it a try let's see what happens as expected there is actually a horizontal line at y equals minus one okay and now this is in blue color and uh, it will be it will be better if i just push this a little bit to the bottom and i have to push this to the uh, bottom most limit of the y axis so that's what i'm going to do over here so let me comment out this line let me comment out this line and let me activate this line over here this the same command as above with a small modification i set the y limit to be plt dot y limit of zero what this actually means is that plt dot y limit actually has a tuple in it and that tuple and that tuple has two values the first value has it has the minus uh, small i mean the minimum bound of the y axis and the next one it has the maximum bound of the y axis so if you put PL, uh, plt dot y lim and within brackets if i put zero i'm going to get the uh, minimum bound of the y axis so i'm going to draw the horizontal line at the minimum bound of the y axis now if i run this there we go now the now this line is actually in black color and it's at the minimum bound of the y axis sweet okay and now to set the color i use this option color equals k and k stands for black black over here okay since b is actually is reserved for blue color i have to use a different uh, um, notation for that i use black or i can actually instead of k i can use just type black as well and that will also work if i understand right yep it does work so i can use k or black over here or just black okay either one of them will work similarly there's an e there's a twin uh, i mean a, a twin command for the command for this this is called as the axv line which actually call, which actually helps us to draw vertical lines so let's draw vertical line towards the left so if i put x equals minus seven check this out there is actually a high, vertical line at x equals minus seven coordinate so as usual with this is a bit uh, we had to push this towards a little more towards the right towards the right and uh, yeah, and we have to specify the minimum bound of the x limit for this. So what I'm going to do is uh, let me comment this line out and activate this line. So axis v a x v line and I put x equals plt dot x limit of zero. Okay, so x limit just like y limit it actually returns a tuple which has the lowest bound of the x axis and the high highest bound of the y axis. So if I access so if I activate, I mean, access the zeroth value of it, it's going to give me the lowest limit of lowest bound of the y-axis. Okay, and I can run if I run this. Check this out. Now, this is perfect. Now it actually looks like a perfect border. Perfect. Okay, and again, just like uh, in the above case, I can use the K or black to work with. So let me put this as black just to give a different flavor. Okay, if they, if both of them will work just like that. Okay, and now I can what I can do is actually put an put a grids put grids, and these grids they do not have any kind of relevance to the horizontal and vertical line. So if I run this up, there we go, perfect. There we go, it's perfect. And now we can actually put the x label and y label, x label and y label. So if you put x label and y label over here. This is this is how it looks like. This x label is over here and y label is over here. Now, honestly speaking, this uh, label is a bit messy. I know we had to push this label a little towards a little towards the top or bottom so that it's that's not it's not you know messier. Anyway, that we'll talk about this in another video. This is actually a short tutorial on how to push the axis according to our convenience. That's all I have for you guys in this video. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you all next time in another interesting video. Till then, take care.